hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel ooh, 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 ooh. i am so excited to have you here you are watching parenting with ini if this is the first time you are seeing this face okay my name is ini i am a mom of course i'm a wife i'm a mom of two 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 babies <laughs> So guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're keeping safe. I am doing fine over here and I thank God for that. So in today's video, I want to talk about um, a question that I've been asked by quite a number of people, you know, are babies the same? As in, in the same in the sense that, um, do they behave the same, you know, because they're siblings? Do they react the same to situations? Do they behave the same? Do they grow up the same way? Do they attain their milestones the same you know because they're siblings that's what i want to talk about in this video today so if you want to know more about this topic keep watching this video and my shout out for today goes to definitely um, proven pro creatives you know check them out for anything any services you need regarding graphic designing you know editing you know and all of those good stuff just check Proven Pro Creatives out. I'll leave their link to the Instagram in my description box so that you can check them out, reach out to them and let them offer services to you regarding any editing, you know, um, graphic designing, you know, um, website creation, all of those, they got you covered. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so guys, let's get started into this video. Her baby is the same just because they are siblings. My, my answer to this question will be a very big no. They are not the same just because they are siblings. They grow differently. They attain milestones differently. And I'm going to share a few with you um, with regards to my own babies. Okay. So as you all know, I have two babies, you know, and um, my babies apparently I've watched them grow, you know, to the, the stage where they are right now. And they're so different. Their personalities are very different, okay? They're not, they don't even react the same to situations. They're very, very different. One is very outgoing. The other one is a little bit reserved, you know? And that's their personality. When it comes to milestones, they have actually developed differently. And that's where I'm gonna, I want to dwell more on for the purpose of this video. So, my first baby started walking, okay? Started holding things to walk at, the, at 10 months. But by 10 months, she was able to hold on a table or on someone and she'll be able to make a few steps by 10 months. By the time she was celebrating her birthday at 11, at 12 months, sorry, she was able to walk by herself. She was able to walk by herself. I remember we still went for, we went for a photo shoot and we were able to capture photos of her walking. And that was so beautiful because she was able to walk by herself by the time she was celebrating her one year birthday. Now, fast forward to my second baby. Now, my second baby at 10 months, she wasn't able to take steps by herself. Okay, even holding stuff, you know, she wasn't able to. That happened when she was around 11 months. She would hold tables and take a few steps. Um, a bit struggling though, but she would, you know, she would hold on your clothes, you know, or your hand and try to take a few steps. At the time she was celebrating her birthday, my second baby wasn't able to walk by herself you know she was still holding on tables and you know on chairs and things around surfaces around her to take steps okay she started walking by herself when now she is past one year just like two weeks after her birthday two weeks after her birthday is actually when she's able to now walk by she's she was able to now walk by herself and again she sees she's still she's trying she's growing she's um do, she's what do i call it like She's learning to do it, okay? So it's not yet perfect, but she, she was just taking the, the baby steps of walking by herself. So has started happening after her birthday, like two weeks after her birthday is when she was able to take those steps to walk by herself. So again, you can see that at that point, the baby's, that milestone when it comes to walking, definitely different. Another thing that we noticed is now the teeth aspect. My first baby delayed, really delayed in, in um, the, um, growing her teeth okay her teeth really took quite some time to start coming out you know um to start growing for you to start seeing the teeth okay i, I know you know what i mean yeah so it took quite some time i, I remember um when she was like one year plus is when we started seeing 
signs of teeth start starting to shoot out, you know, starting to come out, you know. And then she she got to the time where she had only four teeth, one the two up, two down, and then it it kind of took a break. <laughs> it's like the teeth just decided to take a break for like a long time. The next time we say seeing teeth is when she was close to two years old, you know, when she was around one year and eight months thereabouts. So she's seeing other teeth starting to come out. But right now, she's much older right now, so she has her full teeth right now, okay? Now, to my first, my second baby, her teeth started coming out at eight months. Yes, at eight months, is when she started growing her teeth. And um, by the time she was, by the time she was 11 months old, we already have, four, she already had four teeth, you know, four teeth. You know, by the time she was 11 months old, she already had, I have four teeth. Remember, my first baby, by the time she was one, one year, and a few months is when she started having her teeth. So you can see again on that angle, um, they are very, very different when it comes to their milestone. Okay. Now crawling, apparently my babies, they crawled very fast. Yeah. Um, I, we didn't see any difference in that because they crawled closely the same time, you know, that each other started crawling, sitting the same and all of that. Okay. Yeah. And then now with my second baby, she said, talk trying to talk i would say talking i mean for lack of a better word quite much earlier than her, her sister you know she right now she tries to talk she tries to communicate with <laughs> but you don't understand what she's saying anyway but yeah like maybe one or two months difference from when they, they started talking when she was that age you know so what am i trying to say babies are different you can clearly see with my babies the major milestones they attend it a little bit different. The teeth aspect of it, walking, different, different timings, different time. Yeah, so babies are very, very different, okay? So do not compare your children. When it comes to also weaning, weaning, feeding the babies, weaning, because my babies, by God's grace, they were both um, exclusively breastfed, okay? So weaning, when it comes to weaning, we really struggled weaning our first baby compared to our second baby. Apparently, by God's grace, thank God, again, our second baby is such a good feeder. She eats. Hmm? So if you're planning to come and babysit her, remember she eats a lot. <laughs> anyway, that's on a light note. My second baby is a very good feeder, and I really thank God for that, because we struggled with my first baby. When it came to winning, it was such a big struggle. She did not want to adjust to eating solid food. She just wanted breast milk. She just wanted breast milk, nothing else. Even as in when she was six months old, we even spent because of the poor feeding that kind of we're experiencing with her. Our pediatrician advised us to introduce formula milk when she was six months old. She did not even want formula milk. So you know formula milk after one month, after four weeks, it kind of expires. I hope I'm, not, I'm, I'm right, but it got to a point where the formula milk expired and we had to throw a whole a whole team out because my baby refused to drink it. It was just breast milk that she wanted, but we had to force her to eat because breast milk was not sufficient enough for her at that age, you know. The more she was growing, she needed to eat, you know, she needed to eat. So winning my, my first baby was really a struggle. I remember I used to cry because I used to feel like this baby is not eating. My husband was really trying to be supportive on that angle, trying to see if we can you know, force food, force her to eat. But because we probably really told her don't force, she will adjust, um, you know, by herself. And that's how we learned that you don't force food on the baby, you allow them to adjust and eat by themselves. But it's honestly, it was very, very stressful. And to be honest, it's very stressful when your baby is not eating. But now to my second baby, oh my goodness, she's such a good feeder. I remember when she was five months old, she, she would see the sister eat and she wants to eat. She wants to eat. And I'm like, nope, nope. Exclusive till six months. Exclusive. <laughs> I remember immediately she hit six months like this. Ah, I could not hold her anymore. She just had to eat. She just, just, just had to eat. So she's such a good feeder. And from there, she was eating and eating and eating. She eats. She really eats so well. It really encourages us. And it also motivates. I notice also it motivates her, first, her, her, her sister to eat as well. You know, because even now, right now, my, my first child eats, but she's a bit picky when it comes to food. But the sister is into food. Like, she loves eating. She loves eating. And so she encourages my first child to eat. 
as well you know so that's those are the things that i'm telling you these things are different with children and so my encouragement to you and the major purpose why i did this video is to tell you that out of experience you know from my my, from my experience babies are different you know they attain their milestones differently you know they react differently personalities different irrespective of the fact that they are siblings even if they are twins they are different so let's not compare our children let's not try to make our children to be like this one or like that one let's embrace them love them just the way they are you know and let's learn our children so that we know how to react with to them in different situations okay you can't you may not re re react to your child your children the same way you react to each other like you can't react to your first child the same way you react to your second child very different you have to understand them you have to study their personality you have to study how they how they take things how they perceive things how they react to things so that you can know how to approach each child based on their personalities and based on how they are formed how they are how they are like how they are as a as a human being okay so babies are very different my children are very different you know in terms of how they react to things personality and all of that very different even their milestones attainment very very different okay and we love them just the way they are we embrace them just the way they are and we try to encourage them to be better every day you see like now if we were forcing my my child to be like her first like my first child you know when it comes to walking we would have been so angry at her why are you not walking your sister walks from seven months what's wrong with you you know but no we decided to be patient with her and allowed her to start the baby steps of walking when she's ready and when the time comes for her she will walk and right now she's walking she's enjoying it <laughs> Yeah, so guys, that is it for this video. I hope this has encouraged you and I hope you've picked one or two things from this video, you know, that will help you, you know, when it comes to taking care of your children. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay positive always and bye.